Hope and pray all this rain will help control the flames burning here on Saratown Mountain tonight. This is live video from Stokes County. This is happening right now. It has burned roughly 750 acres and fire departments from as far away as Oregon have sent personnel to help fight this. It started Saturday night and quickly grew because of low humidity and windy conditions and people in this community have come together to rally behind the 150 firefighters working to get this under control and many homes and other buildings from being destroyed. And because of this and other wildfires burning across the state, North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper has extended the state of emergency in Katy. It now includes most of our coverage area. That's right. As you can see in this map behind us, several Piedmont Triad communities are included in this, including Guilford, Davidson, Forsyth counties. The list goes on. Fox 8's Cassie Fambro is live at the base of the mountain for us tonight. And Cassie, we can see the glow behind you. Katie and Neil, it's very eerie to see this glowing orange line sort of snaking down the mountains. I want to give you a closer look as photojournalist Will Pruitt pans up the mountain. You can see the scope and the signs of the flames. And one of the most chilling things that we've seen since we've been here is not only this fire line travel lower and lower, but just towards the top of it, if we could paint up just a little bit more, there are blinking red lights where firefighters are doing their best to try to stop this fire from getting into those homes. Firefighters from all over the state and even from the Pacific Northwest are working all hours to stop the Soratown wildfire from spreading. But we do believe the fire is all the way down into this area and back through here. From 150 acres affected Monday morning to 750 acres Monday night, the wind is the enemy. The winds have picked up this afternoon. The winds are expected to increase tonight, possibly before the rain gets here. The magic word, rain. Stokes County is classified in the severe drought category. We're very optimistic about the rain chances. They beefed up hour by hour. The community near the Soratown Mountains is beefing up their support for the men and women battling the fire. Cases of water, grab and go meals, snacks and more arrived at the fire station all day long on Monday. Well, we can see the fires um, from outside our window, our kitchen window, and so um, we see it multiple times a day. And so it just makes us sad. Jennifer Moser was one of several people to drop off snacks for first responders, wanting to feel helpful rather than helpless as the flame spread. We brought uh, bottled waters and we brought snacks, uh, granola bars, crackers, um, a lot of uh, little Debbie cakes. We just want to help. Even those in the fire's path chipped in. It's my neighborhood. It's, it's my, my Stokes County. We got to help. John Hartman dropped off snacks, hoping the winds die down and the rain comes soon. Nervous because I live right around the corner. Both fire officials and the people who live near the mountains want people to take a long look at the orange flames dancing in the smoke just feet away from homes. Just think about it. You know, think about it. This not burn. You know, we, don't have to, we don't have to burn. We can wait. We can let rain. For those who want to help with the more than 150 firefighters battling this fire, they are accepting water, snacks, donations, electrolytes at the fire station here. If you can't donate in person, they encourage you to donate to your local fire department. For now, live in Stokes County, Cassie Fambro, Fox 8 News. Cassie, thank you. And this